Peace and love is Auntie Oni. How are all my beautiful children around the world, but especially on the island of Tobago? This story I'm going to share with you is a story called Ubuntu. It's a traditional folk tale from Southeast Africa. Once there was a scientist. He was an anthropologist. And that's a big word for a scientist. Can you say anthropologist? Well, this anthropologist, he was traveling all the way from America to England to Southeast Africa. And he flew on an airplane. And when he reached the country of Zimbabwe, he decided that he would rent a car and he wanted to travel to the city of Bolueo. Now, in Bolueo, it's a big city with high, tall buildings. But for him to get there, like I said, he had to rent a car. So he rented a car and on his way to Bolueo, he was noticing all the beautiful homes. He was noticing all the beautiful people. And he was seeing a plenty of beautiful animals. He was traveling through the rural area and he saw animals of all kinds in Africa. Elephants. What else do you think he saw? hippopotamus, giraffes. As he reached the city of Bolueo, he saw tall skyscrapers, big buildings, all the people going about their business on a busy, busy day. So he decided he would drive a little further. And as he drove further, he came to a fruit market, an outdoor fruit market. So he went to the fruit market and he picked up a basket of mangoes. Do you like mangoes? Oh, I love mangoes. And he filled up the basket with mangoes and he put it in the trunk of his car. And he continued his journey until he stopped and he asked someone on the road, where is the nearest primary school? Well, you might call it an elementary school. So they pointed him to the school up the road. He drove up to the nearest primary school and he went to the school office. He knocked on the door and he asked the secretary inside if he could see the school principal. The, the secretary, she went into the school principal and she asked her, well, she told her that Mr. Anthropologist was outside to meet her and wanted to speak with her for a moment. Well, the school principal came out of her office and Mr. Anthropologist said, good afternoon, Madame. I am Mr. Anthropologist. I have come to your country to conduct an experiment. I would need some children to play a game with. Me, I play a game with your children? Well, the principal, she looked at Mr. Anthropologist, but she thought, hmm, may I see your ID, sir? She wanted to make sure that her children were safe. So Mr. Anthropologist took out his ID, his passport, his driver's license, and showed him to the school principal. Okay, very well. The children will soon be out for recess. At that time, you may play your game with them. Thank you very much, ma'am. Mr. Anthropologist went out to his car and he popped the trunk of his car and he lifted out the big heavy basket of mangoes and he took the basket of mangoes and he placed them 
a few yards away from the schoolyard underneath a huge baobab tree, just like this one. Just as he put the basket down underneath the tree, he heard the children come running out for recess. Yay, yay, Mr. Anthropologist, we're ready to play your game with you. Oh, he ran back to the schoolyard. Yes, children. Hmm. Are you ready to play my game? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can't wait. Do you see that basket of mango underneath the baobab tree over there? Yes, yes, we see it, yes. Well, I want you to line up on each side of me and we're going to have a race. And the first child that reaches that basket of mango could have all the mangoes and the basket. Oh, yes, yes. They were so excited. Mr. Anthropologist called the race. On your march, get set, go. The children grabbed each other by the hands and they all ran together, running, 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 running until they reached the basket of mangoes at the very same time. The oldest girl, Umoja, her name means unity. She took out a mango and she passed it around to her friend. She took out another mango and she passed it around to her friend. And that child passed it around to the next friend and the next friend until all the children each had a mango. Can you believe that there was enough mangoes in that basket for every single child? Oh, the children smelled their mangoes. Oh, it was so smelling so, so sweet, so ripe. Ooh, they bit into their mangoes. Mm, mm, it was juicy. Juicy, juicy. They sat down on the soft grass in a circle underneath the baobab tree. And they were laughing and talking and eating their mangoes and sucking the seed. Slip, Ooh, one child dropped the seed and wiped off the dirt and finished eating. <laughs> They were so delicious and they were oh so happy. Mr. Anthropologist, he came running to the circle. What is this? He was angry. What is this? Didn't I tell you that only one child could win the basket and have it all for themselves? Well, the children were very surprised. The oldest child, Umoja, she stood up and she looked Mr. Anthropologist in his eyes. Sir, how can one of us be happy and the rest of us be so sad? It is Ubuntu. It is our way. So you see children, Ubuntu means to think of others, to put yourself in the shoes of others, to have compassion and love for one another. So may we always live Love and learn in the joy of Ubuntu. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, I am because we are. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, we are 
because I am. <laughs> <laughs>